the government has the license to print money and make you a slave. They don't want that taken away from them. So they've come up with the solution. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in a pipe five by five in Dubai. And man, I got some news for you. I got some TA to go over and lots of interesting things to talk about in today's episode. So let's get to it. But before we do, I wanted to talk about Coin W, right? You can win some serious prizes if you just sign up, deposit even just a hundred dollars worth, and you can win some serious prizes at Coin W. And uh, Waffles Coin, you know, it's, it's taking a little bit of a beating, but hey, it it's still ticking, right? We're still working on the Twitter page, but we will get that going in, in a short while. All right. With that said, let's go over some of the news. State of Wisconsin Investment Board discloses it holds a hundred million in BlackRock's spot Bitcoin ETF. Boom. Damn. For shizzle. Well, you know, just so they know, Wisconsin doesn't own any Bitcoin. They only own promises of dollars. <laughs> so, all right. With that said, Coinbase resumes operations after three hour outage. You know, Coinbase approached me to support their exchange and it was an immediate answer of hell no. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a ridiculous exchange. Right? Non-stop problems. Stay away. Right? You know, get yourself some ID and go to a real exchange like CoinW. Right? Although this has no KYC, the bigger they are, the more they're gonna be required KYC eventually. So make sure you have your your digital ID no matter where you are, you can actually trade because hey, you know what? Your government doesn't want you to free yourself from its slavery. Right? That is imposed on you through inflation and taxation and printing of money. Okay. <laughs> so major banks are jumping on the Bitcoin bandwagon. Bank of Montreal and UBS have now hold shares in the Bitcoin ETF again. They held no Bitcoin, they only hold promises of dollars. Congratulations. <laughs> But you get the advantage. This is your advantage. Go and buy some real Bitcoin, put it in a wallet, find a way to, to secure it so you make sure that you do not lose it. And you have the advantage over all these corporations. All right. U.S. Senator demand Department of Justice rethink stance on non-custodial crypto services. Okay. So to get to the point on this, the non-custodial crypto service providers cannot be classified as money transmitter businesses because users of such services retain sole possession and control of their crypto assets. Okay. So let me get this straight. My wallet here, right? From Christian Louis Vuitton, right? Let me, let me just zoom in here. This wallet here, if I go and take out some money and give it to you, that makes this a money transmitter. So now, Christian Louboutin needs to register as a money transmitter. <laughs> That's the stupidity of government. At no point when operating or providing non-custodial services such do such services providers accept crypto assets from their users? Users retain exclusive custody and control over their private keys to their crypto assets. All transactions are signed and processed on their user's local device without any third party access. Period. Yes. So once again, going back to this, does the company that produced this wallet have access to cash in here? No. Only I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, my government, man. Yeah. Nice try, though. Nice try. Let's see how, how, how well that works out. You know, they're going to try to pass that. And if, the, if they do, it probably won't hold up in the Supreme Court because it's just, you, you, it's blatant, right? All right. Speaking about blatant theft, Canada's tax agency targets $40 million in uncollected crypto taxes as Trudeau seeks major capital gains hike. Yes. 50% is enough. Now they want 60%. Okay. I want you to understand that the government prints money, right? Then on top of that, they tax you, right? To make sure you stay in poverty, right? I'm going to repeat that for those who are dumb, deaf, and freaking retarded. They print money so that you can work for it and then tax you for that money so that you can remain poor. At what point does money theft from the government mean you're a slave? Hmm. Hmm. At the point that they print it and then you work for it? Or the point where they actually say, give me half, more than half, actually. No, no more than half. Oh, by the way, if our inflation goes, causes you to like actually protect yourself, we're going to tax, tax that too. Take that too. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, people. I'm glad I'm not in Canada anymore. I'm, I'm safe in Dubai with zero taxes. Come to Dubai, baby. <laughs> All right. I'm playing this game and I'm enjoying it. They just uh, opened it up for everyone to play. It's now an open beta. And yeah, if you want, you know what? All my lands have just got filled up. I recently purchased some land and now there's, there's like one slot on my land, my, what's it called? Level five land. Actually, I'm going to increase the taxes since it's the only slot that I've got. So now you got to pay more taxes on that one. So there you go. If you want to join it, you can join it. It's Melhella 3. And yeah, you're going to have to pay a lot of taxes. And you know what? I'm going to actually enter an entry fee. So, so you're going to have to pay, right? Also for that in silver, yeah, if you want to join my level five land, this is the only slot I've got. I think there's some slots on the level one land, right? And here you go. It's a little bit cheaper taxes. Malhalla 461, come on down, play the game with me. I've got a, lot, a massive clan and you know what? We're going to be giving away some medieval empire tokens. That's M-E-E. -E. So definitely invest in that because man when this game comes out of beta oof it's game on man it's an easy it's fun game that you can actually make money on so yeah go ahead and, and join us and learn how to play because it's not the they haven't enabled the 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 play to earn yet but it's coming all right with that said i have to talk about bitcoin dominance if you want to do well in this crypto market without doing much. Best play is to buy Bitcoin and forget about the rest. Right? And why is that? The dominance speaks for itself. This is a moving up. This is moving up and it's, it's target is 60%, but it can go as high as 73% before we see any kind of reversal. And if it breaks above that, it's going to go all the way to 95. <laughs> So, all right. So with that said, right, why is it going to continue going higher? Well, if we take this chart, this line, and you notice something, what the hell? I just did a copy and paste and it shows you that it's tracking pretty well. But what's also scary is if you take that copy and paste it again, and then you take this and move it without actually changing the angle, ooh, look at that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up where we're going here, right? We're, we're heading higher, a lot higher with the market, the, coin, the, the market cap of Bitcoin. So that means Bitcoin's gonna outperform everything in the market. Now, that, does that mean that it was going to outperform Assets here and there, no. Each individual asset will probably outperform Bitcoin for a while before Bitcoin says, no, 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 
<laughs> and then, yeah. So even Ethereum will probably outperform Bitcoin. And as right now, it's it's targeting the lower levels of, you know, $2,400, which Bitcoin, you know, doesn't want to break down from. Uh, doesn't want to break down and hit its target. We can see that Bitcoin is right now, you know, it, it really pumped and hurt us here. We're looking to short this and break down, but, you know, it's still coming back down as we've broken down a little bit. But man, is this going to turn into a, wait a second here. Let's see if this turns into support, right? So if we break this area, you could see that Bitcoin could break down even further to, you know, you know, break down to the 90, uh, the 57 before we see anything, any kind of reversal. So this is a clear patterns here that we are deciding which way to go. Now, if we break higher, this means that, you know, it doesn't matter whether it breaks up or breaks lower. We just want to be able to make profits on this. And you can see the target for each each of these levels here. Let's just find the targets whole entry level. And let's just say we break down. Ooh, yeah. So anywhere. Yeah. So 54, 52 ish area. So and then if we break up, we have a target all the way to 70K. So let's see. Yeah, 70K is not a surprise, actually. So let's just see how well that does in the coming days. But I think a breakdown is the most likely, likely scenario for Bitcoin. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know I energized for this just for you because at first I didn't want to do this. But I'm here now. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.